The head of the Bahamas Electricity Corporation is now advising employees that they'll have to forego more benefits come 2014. The announcement follows a declaration by BEC Chairman Leslie Miller that employees will no longer be able to receive sick pay benefits from both BEC and the National Insurance Board. BEC Chairman Leslie Miller says workers who have enjoyed free pension and health care for years now will soon have to help pay for those benefits. If, if we just say right now, that we're going to try to do um, in January, as early as January, that BEC workers would pay 6%, co co would contribute 6% to the pension plan and we'd contribute 6%. That's going to save us millions of dollars. In fact, BEC Chairman Leslie Miller says the corporation alone now pays over $11 million a year into the pension fund. And in the last decade, Mr. Miller says BEC has paid out over $54 million to pensioners. In order to save the corporation money, especially following its $22.5 million loss recorded in the last fiscal year, Mr. Miller says next year employees will be asked to contribute to the fund. Now why would a guy at BEC complain about paying 6% on his pension fund and BEC paying 6%? when every single entity in this country does the same thing. Why would he complain when 90% of the, all of the companies, the, the private companies in this country, give, pays, if they pay 50% of your medical, you must pay at least 50%. Most companies today send you to NIB. That said, Mr. Miller says BC workers will also be asked to help subsidize the cost of their $5 million a year medical insurance by paying at least 25% of the total cost starting January 1st. And by the year 2017, Miller says employees will have to pay at least half. If they refuse to do so, we will then get the insurance company to reduce their benefits by 25%. These things got to happen. I mean, the whole world has realigned and readjusted themselves to the new reality of the economies all around the world. The Bahamas is no different. As far as the Bahamas Electrical Workers Union is concerned, what the chairman is proposing will not happen. He does everything unilaterally. He doesn't respect our contract and all he is into is what he wants and not what is beneficial to building this corporation. Are you preparing for any type of industrial action? For what? From this? No. For what? For this, for this uh, decision that, that, that's been made. For doing what is right on behalf of maybe we have industrial action? They can turn off the lights again? Tell them to turn it off then. They can turn off their lights too. You wouldn't come back through that gate. This is a fight to save money for the people of the Bahamas to enable us to lower the electricity bill to take this burden off their backs. Meantime, Labor Minister with responsibility for national insurance, Shane Gibson, says NIB was never intended for individuals to benefit from being off the job. Instead, he says the agency was originally put in place as a salary replacement mechanism. His comments come in light of the dispute between the Bahamas Electricity Corporation and the unions that represent its employees over a recent decision to discontinue the practice of workers collecting sick pay benefits from both BEC and NIB. I think for, um, for a long time, a lot of the government uh, corporations were able to negotiate very lucrative contracts. You know, I was on the other side, I helped to negotiate some really, really lucrative contracts for the Broadcasting Corporation, for, Z, for um, the Telco. And, uh, you know, uh, we realized that back in those times, times were good. Now times are tough, you know, and, and so the things that we took for granted back then, we can't take it for granted anymore. I mean, the same way we we trying to find new ways to generate new revenue streams. We have to also find ways to try and cut back on expenditure. And so uh, we don't want to take anything away from employees, but at the same time as employees need to understand that there are times when they just have to um, give up a little in order to um, you know, keep the bigger picture going. And Minister Gibson says the idea is not to change terms of employment unilater unilaterally, although President of the Bahamas Electrical Workers Union, Stefano Green, had said previously that Chairman Leslie Miller had unilaterally made the decision. There's a basic principle in law which states that you cannot unilaterally change people's terms and conditions of employment. And so the thing is, if the country and the corporations are going through a rough time right now, you do, as every other employer would do all around the world, you sit down with the workers or the workers' representatives and you figure out ways to try and see how you could um, keep your business open. Yeah. Um, uh, the last thing we want to do and we will not do is make individuals redundant. But at the same time, because we've taken a position not to make individuals redundant, then of course we have to look at um, cutting back on expenses. And so if it means that um, persons are benefiting more being off sick and being on maternity leave when they're on the job, then the thing to do would be to sit down with the workers' representatives and try to work out a formula when you can phase out that.